Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here and today I want to go over an absolute free way to create and add decals to your products. This is something that I do quite a lot and you can see from some of these images I'm using decals all over the place. In fact, the ones that I use are all from Sir Charles various decals packs which are pretty cool too and you can get them online. In particular, what you're going to need to get started is the free version of KitOps and you can get that at Gumroad. It doesn't cost anything. And you're going to also need the free version of Sir Charles decal set and in it he uses a material that I created for him that's going to be perfect for creating various effects on your decals. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is we're going to want to install KitOps. So let's go into preferences and what we have done is we've downloaded the free zip file from Gumroad to somewhere on our hard disk. Let's find out where that is. Install. I'm going to go into here and this is what I have. The 2.8 1.15.3 free. It might be later than that, but that's the current one today. And I hit the install add-on button. And now we get into the here and we just want to check this box. And now that we have this checked, we're ready to move on to the next step. So here we have our free Sir Charles logo pack and this kitops.zip file is what we want to download. So we'll click on that and we'll download that file. Here we see it downloaded. I'll just right click on it and say extract all. And now we have this folder and inside we have another folder and inside that we have all of our kitops inserts. So now we can move this folder wherever we want to. I'm going to leave it here in downloads, although I suggest you move it somewhere where you know it won't be deleted. And let's go back in to Blender. Now that we're back in Blender, we'll open this up and we'll go to the file pass. And you see that we already have one master folder and we're going to add another one. And so I'm going to click this plus button and then this folder file. So I'll go directly to my downloads folder and we can see this folder that we just expanded. And I'll double click on that and I'll keep double clicking on these and opening them until I get to all of these files. And then I'm going to go up one level. And that's what I want to accept. So I hit accept and that's going to create a new KPAC collection over here. And as you can see, this is the refresh button. We can look and we see we have this classic corp. And here are all of the various free decals that come with that. So quickly how KitOps works is we can go into any of these KPACs. Let's grab this medium one. We select an object and then we choose whatever insert we want to add to it. And then we can choose size and we can adjust this however we want to. And then we just hit add insert. And when we do that, it actually drops it in and it'll place it wherever we want it. And then we can hit the S button to scale it up or whatever. And you see that's, that's kind of how that works. So I'm going to actually delete that because we're going to deal with decals at this point. So I'm going to go back into our, our decals and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'll find a decal. Let's take this classic corp one and with the object selected, we're going to click the add insert button and we'll drag it over here. And once we get it like that, we can scale it and I can actually even go in here if I want to and set the zero on the X axis. And that's really it. And that's pretty much how that, that decal gets added very simply. Let's take a look at some of the properties of this decal. So I'm going to select it and I will go in here and make sure I'm in the shader editor with it selected Put up a little bit more. And you'll see that this is the material that this decal uses. And this is kind of the secret sauce and the reason why you want to use this kit op material. So let's take a look at some of these node groups. This one de called decal crunch is kind of interesting. Take a look at this. So as I drag this slider, you'll see that I'm starting to add a grunge transparency texture to this decal. And that's really cool, especially if we're doing things that are a little bit dirty. Let's go look in this decal color. So I can turn this color on or off. This is the color that came with the decal. So all the decals are set to be 128, 128, 128. And I suggest you create your decals as 128, 128, 128 as well. Even so, that's not necessary. But if we turn it on, we can adjust the color very easily just by choosing a new color. Another thing we can do is turn the grunge off is we can actually just hook up the submission shader if we like. And now we have a very bright decal. And if we turn on bloom over here, you see it's going to start to work and I can adjust this to five or anything I want to. If I want to turn that back off, I just grab this BSDF and hook it up here and now we're back to where we were. So now let's talk about adding a custom image to this decal. So if we look, we'll see that this image is actually packed in with the insert file. And that's what this little icon means. So we have to unpack that. Now we can actually change this image. And what I'm going to do is I'll click on this little folder button and I'll go find the image that I want to change it to. Let's 
change it to this KitOps one right here. Now that it's changed, you'll see that we have our new image in here. It's using the override color, which in my case, I really don't want to do, so I'll turn that back off. But it's the wrong aspect ratio, so how do we fix that? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. We'll go over here and we'll say Image Editor, and then we'll go find that particular logo, and I'll hit the N key, or I'll click this little slide out button right there, and go to Image, and you'll see that this image is 1280 by 335. But if we look at this, we'll see that our dimensions are 105 here. So these, these need to match. I'm not going to make it 1280 because it's going to be too big. I'm going to make it 1.28 here. 1.28. And then for the Y, I will use 0.335, which is this number right here. So now we have the perfect aspect ratio. Once we've done that, we're going to want to apply the scale so that our scale is at one at this point. And then if we scale things around, we're gonna be in good shape, especially if we wanna use this insert with KitOps Pro and save it as part of a K-pack of decals. So let's close out the image editor here and let's talk about how we can wrap this around a corner. So the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna understand this is just a plane with an image on it. And I'm gonna to go to KitOps and I'm gonna actually remove the KitOps properties so there's never no confusion about that. And you could leave them on. Actually, it won't make a difference. Once I've got that done, what I want to be able to do is I still want to be able to drag this around the cube and have it snap to the surfaces just like KitOps. So to do that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make sure this is at the bounding box center. The magnet's turned on and I'm going to say we're going to snap to the face and we want to snap the center to the face and we want to align rotation to target. All these things, right? That's remove. So if I hit the G key now, the move key, and I move it around, you see it's snapping all over the place, right? I'm going to move it, I'm going to put it right about here. I'll go my item and because that's the x-axis I'll just make that I'll zero that out and now we have our decal on that face of this cube. So now we need to wrap the corners around it. So what do we do to do that? Let's go to the modifiers and we see we have this displacement modifier right here and I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to go over here and I will turn on wireframe so we can see the wireframe and with this selected I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and I'm going to turn this simple on and as I do that I'm going to crank up the viewport as you can see there's quite a bit of subdivision surfaces there and let's equal out the render so that when we render this it'll be the same and now we have something that can bend around that space so let's go ahead and add something that will bend it and that's called the shrink wrap modifier and the first thing we'll need to do is say what are we going to shrink wrap around well it's going to be this box I want to turn off the displays so that we can see what's going on and you can see that we're, we're not we're not quite exactly right here's the settings that we're going to need to use to fix this and this is a big shout out to machine he posted this in one of our threads and it was a great hint and by the way he has a product called decal machine which does a lot of what we're talking about here and a lot more for gamers and professionals and you might want to check that out so what we'll do is we're going to hit project and when we do that, we'll have to hit this negative direction. Things are working really good. So now what we'll need to do is we're going to change this offset number. Let's try something like 0 0.002, just a slight amount. And then I'm going to go into the local and we'll turn, make sure our snapping is off. And let's grab the Z and just pull it out just a tad. I mean, we, you know, it, just a little bit. Okay, so now that we have this, you can do things like hit the S key to scale the decal. You can turn the magnet on and hit the G key and we can move it anywhere we want to and once we move it like if we move it over here we may find out that even pulling up on it is not going to help it so what do we do there well we can adjust this number let's try it 0.02 and you see that doesn't really do a whole lot either uh, so what we can just do is go over to displace and just turn that back on and once we've done that we're in pretty good shape so and again if we hit the G key and move it around you'll see the displace Okay, so let's go over one last thing. Let's say we're back into KitOps and we're going to add the exact same decal. So I'll select my cube. Let's turn off wireframe and I'll say add insert. And as I drag it, look, we've got the KitOps decal, not the classic corp. What's going on? Well, let's undo that. Let's go back in here on the material and we're just going to name this something else. We can name it anything else. Okay. And then once we now add the insert, we're going to get the correct insert to be added. I hope this tutorial has been valuable to you using the free version of KitOps and a free decal pack from Sir Charles. Stay tuned and I'll see you online.